Hello, everyone. Oh my gosh, it's been a while, and I I had this thought that I had done a video in January after the holidays, and I look back and I did not, uh, at least not one of these kinds of videos. Um, but uh, anyway, so I'm I'm sorry it's been so long, um, but there's a <laughs> oh some very good and interesting news to share with you. So let's get right to the big thing. Um, I got the insurance. I got public insurance. It is um, a miracle. The uh, friend who's been helping me um, must have written a really good letter or something. Uh, but I just found out a few days ago that they accepted me, Teka accepted me for public insurance. And we sent that information over to KSK. And hopefully I will then within the next couple months have everything registered and, and be on board with all of that. I don't know what it's going to cost yet, but I'm sure it will be a lot less than what the private insurance was going to be. So I'm kind of in shock. I, I think she's in shock, the person who helped me, because she she was like, I can't believe this have this worked. So um, we're very happy, and I was pretty much ready to go back to the U.S. I was prepared mentally, like you know, it's just not going to work. And so I'm I'm there's a little a little angel above my head about this stuff or or maybe it's just that for some reason Germany really wants me here. I don't know why. But um things just keep working out in that way. So I'm I'm very excited. I'm very happy. So that was the last big hoop. You know, next January or so I will have my visa renewal um meeting and um then, you know, so I'll have the insurance looks like before then, which is great. And I guess, you know, things should be okay if they see that I'm working and and everything. So, um, so yeah, so that's a big load off my everything. The other big news is that um, I got another job um, with a company called EF Tours. Um, I think I may have mentioned in the last video that I was applying to them. I went to their, um, uh, what do they call it? Like a workshop sort of thing where they, it was like a big workshop sort of, they watch us for three days and, and decide who they want and all of that. So that was in mid January. And, uh, I was called a week later and, uh, or emailed and offered a tour in June. Um, so I'm very excited about that too. Uh, I don't know where the group is coming from, but it's a 10 day tour to, oh gosh, well, they, they fly into Frankfurt. We go to um, Rotenburg, uh, Augsburg, Munich, Innsbruck, Venice, Lucerne, Freiburg and Heidelberg, Heidelberg, excuse me. Um, and um, yeah, so that will be, you know, I'm kind of terrified, but I think it'll go fine. I think I'm looking forward to it. So um, unfortunately, I stupidly did not, uh, I, I didn't, uh, I didn't find out what the schedule would be for that right away. So when my other, my normal job uh, wanted my schedule for the spring, I told them I need to wait until I know what's going on with this other thing. If I had known it wouldn't be till June, I would have let them know right away that I was available, but I didn't and lost out on a lot of work over the next few months. So I don't have very much other work right now. So that's not good. Um, I did go, I, I had two and a half weeks of work in January, and then I have, uh, well, January into February, and then I have one week of work at the end of this month, and then I only have like two more weeks of work until June at the moment. 
So that's a problem. I'll have to somehow get through the next few months until June. Um, but um, I'll figure it out. <laughs> somehow I always figure these things out. So uh, I was in, just so you know, I was in Rohrdorf down near Rosenheim, right at the foot of the Alps uh, for a week. And then I was in Bachnang for a week again, and then in Rottweil. Um, which was a beautiful little town. I did not see a single Rottweiler, uh, meaning the dog. Uh, I don't even know if I saw a dog. I don't know. I was like looking out for Rottweilers and I didn't see any. Um, but it is where they got the name from. So, uh, and that was a beautiful town and it was the beginning of, of uh, Fasnacht, uh, which is basically Carnival. And there was a lot going on. It was, they were whipping. There's these very loud, very loud whips that these, the young people uh, go around hitting the ground with. And they use them for different competitions and things. Anyway, it was intense. It was very, uh, it, it was loud um, and interesting, but, but loud. Um, so that, that was that. Also, the strike was on, on during this time, and I was supposed to come back to Berlin, and I couldn't get back to Berlin. So I just stayed down there the whole time. Um, it was a little crazy trying to get around at that time, but it worked. Um, other news, all the, the singing all went great. They invited us back, both at the Mall of Berlin and the, at the Gendarmenmarkt. Uh, Christmas market. I hopefully said that correct this time. Correctly. I didn't even say correct. Correctly. Correctly. Um, they, uh, yeah, we, uh, it, it, few little things. We got spat on uh, at the mall, which um, was really horrifying. Um, we weren't even singing. We were just, we had just gotten to our spot. And I think a bunch of young hoodlums up on the balcony spat on us. Um, that was not lovely. My voice um, sort of held up. It, it it basically stayed intact the whole time, but it was, you know, not used to singing that much all of a sudden after so many years. So it was uh, a little rough, but we got through it. And then I got this lovely thing called chillblains on my toes. I'd never heard of these before which um, your toes get red and hurt. They hurt a little bit. And it was from wearing dress shoes out and thin socks out in the cold too much. So it's sort of a not quite frostbite, but almost to that point. Anyway, those are much better. Um, and I started a new uh, video series, as I think uh, maybe some of you saw. Uh, called Parsnips and Persimmons, Adventures in Ingredients, where I talk about an interesting ingredient every time and all the things you can do with it and how you prepare it. So I'm hoping that uh, does well and reaches a lot of a lot of people. So have a watch at that. Um, otherwise, uh, just I, I've, you know, still got some students I'm working with. Um, and um, I'm going to be helping with uh, some music on a film, not writing the music, but uh, kind of helping someone figure out where music goes in a film, in, in uh, her film. Um, that'll be fun. And um, working on my new musical, working on, working on different things. But the main, the main uh, thing I wanted to tell you about was the insurance and the new job. And I'm hoping the job becomes more regular because uh, the money's good. And hopefully that will, will solve some of those problems. <laughs> anyway, so that's a quick rundown of what's new. And um, I'll kind of, I'll let you know when everything is totally settled and, and all of that. But it's amazing that, you know, even though my, I'm over the age limit, that they thought I was worthy of being insured. So I'm very grateful. 
All right, everyone take care. I hope you had a good holiday season and uh, stay warm. Okay, bye. Hey, so I, I realized I rushed through that last video a little too quickly and didn't explain a couple things um, or a few details. The job, the tour with EF Tours, um, I didn't really say what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm a tour director. So what that means is I pick up the group at the airport. I get them to the bus. I keep them entertained. We get to the hotel. I check them all in, get them around the town, get them to whatever tours they're going to. Um, sometimes I'll lead a walking tour. Um, I'm basically running the tour um, and doing, there's a lot of paperwork involved also, which that's the part that worries me. But um, anyway, the, the rest of it, you know, will be slightly educational on the, on the bus. I talk about where we're going and keep them all involved and occupied and, and letting them rest sometimes too. Because I was on tours like this when I was young, and uh, I know how tiring they can be. So that's what I'm doing. I'm a, my title is tour director. And uh, so the tours will go all over. I mean, they're all different. Um, so I, though I've been to every place on this tour sometime in my life, um, you know, maybe I'll get a Scandinavian tour. I've never been, except for Copenhagen, I've never been anywhere else. Um, you never know. So, so that's what that is. And the other thing I wanted to mention with the, the Christmas caroling, um, first of all, at the mall, we had lovely crowds, a lot of people watching us. Um, I learned what songs they want to hear. Um, some of them, oh God, everyone likes Last Christmas. I, I just despise that song. But they all want to hear Last Christmas. So I'm going to have to write an arrangement of that mixed with All I Want for Christmas is You, the Mariah Carey one, because that was another one they wanted. And then we'll get a couple more German ones in there because we don't have enough German ones. We have like three, but not that's not enough. So, uh, but we had lovely comments, people who were very happy to hear us. And um, and at the Gendarmenmarkt, uh, Christmas market, which was actually in Babelplatz by the Opera House, because um, they're doing construction over at the other spot. Um, we had hundreds of people. Uh, it, it actually felt like we were rock stars. It was really, really fun and really cool. Uh, we were on the stage and people were dancing and singing with us and videotaping and all that. So it was that was really a blast. It was it, it was really fun. So uh, in May, we're supposed to, I'm supposed to uh, get in touch with both places and discuss when they want us for next year, exactly. So if you weren't able to come this year, there's next year. Um, and I'm going to wear warmer socks and uh, better shoes so I don't get my chill blains. I'd never heard of chill blains. Anyway, so... Um, that's all. Just wanted to say a little bit more about those things. And now for real, goodbye.